Stephen Boss, known as Twitch to his fans, was the beloved DJ on Ellen with the megawatt smile and signature dance moves. Last year, a few weeks before Christmas, Twitch took his own life at age 40. America was blindsided. Twitch seemed so full of life to his friends, fans, and his family too. His wife, Allison, says no one saw it coming. It was such a shock to the country, really, when the news broke. The guy who was dancing, always happy. So everyone was like, wait, what, why? Did you have similar thoughts, emotions, and feelings? I still feel like I'm like the rest of the world where I'm still shocked. No one's ready for that moment. And there's no one that saw this coming, no one. And that also breaks my heart too, but I feel so sad that he was so there and we weren't in the knowing. He wanted to be the strong one for everyone. And I think that was a little scary for him to think that he might need to ask for help. You know, people say a lot of like, what were the signs? And, you know, it, he was so much love and light. He really wanted to be everyone's Superman. He said that a lot. Everyone's Superman? Everyone's Superman. He could hold so much for people. And I, I do, I think it was hard for him to process that at the end. When you have your quiet time by yourself, was there something? Was there something I might have seen or missed? Do you do that? I did it a lot in the beginning. I eventually had to tell myself that I can't change anything that's happened. Allison says she and their three children have their good days and bad ones, but they're trying to move forward. I'm looking at you and you seem very strong to me. Is that for you, for the kids, for the world? I think it's for all of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't really have any other choice but to be strong. Mm -hmm. Now, they still see me have my highs and lows because there's yeah. a lot of it. Yeah. All I can do is just try to move forward. The dance duo met in 2010 on So You Think You Can Dance. Their love story was like a fairy tale from the very beginning. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes. yes. I feel like we all felt like we knew Twitch and we knew and loved him. But what was it like to really be in love with him? Oh, <laughs> our love was magical. Yeah. And it was so real. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the hardest part about all this. The way we loved was so big. Yeah. And I got 13 years with one of the most magical humans. And I learned. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I learned so much about love and gratitude. I talked to him every night. You do? I talked to him every night. <laughs> and it's different every night. Sometimes it's just like, I took the kids to school. <laughs> Other times it's a little bit deeper, a little more heavy. I don't allow myself to be in a place of anger or sadness, though I allow myself to feel it. If I'm feeling this much pain, it's because I've had so much love. But Allison says she's managing some tough conversations with her three children, 14-year-old Wesley, 7-year-old Maddox, and 3-year-old Zaya. What you had to explain, especially to your young children. It's honestly something I wouldn't wish for anybody. It's really hard. But... If I've learned anything, um, is that communication is key. To us, daddy's in the stars. <laughs> so we can go outside and talk to him whenever we want. Well, what kind of questions are they asking you about what happened? First off, they just ask, when is daddy coming back? And that's a really hard one. And then it'll be like a couple weeks later, like, but does he come back when he's older? Like, when daddy's older, he'll come back. But they are still children and still obviously want him here. Mm -hmm. Many struggling like Twitch suffer in silence. Studies suggest one in five adults experience mental illness each year. There's a stigma, I think, around when someone takes their own life, commits suicide. There's a large stigma that comes with it. But we don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on in his mind. It's interesting, the word widow is hard and it's, it's never easy when you hear it. You know, the first time I ever heard it was really hard. Cause I was like, me. 
Now, Allison and her family are honoring Twitch's legacy and partnered with her local branch of the National Alliance on Mental Illness called NAMI Westside LA. Talk a little bit about what you're doing and how you want your husband's name and legacy to live on. What I would really love is to bring awareness to mental health, open up the conversations, but to hopefully help people to feel comfortable asking mm -hmm. for that help. I really do want to make an impact on behalf of like someone I love so much. Mm -hmm. Allison says she finds comfort in the outpouring of support from fans and friends like Ellen DeGeneres. To honor Twitch, I think the best thing that we can do is to laugh and hug each other. Have you been in touch with her? She has been a huge support system for me and talk about the fun memories that we had with him. And we get to live in, in, in those great memories that we had. You were t talking about how you speak to him uh, now. Are there questions you ask him? All the time. Maybe one day there'll be this big aha uh -huh of answers. I do feel like he's with me. But we know he's guiding us through every single day. I mean, their love is so real, and it's so funny because I remember Twitch came here, and I co-hosted our show with him, and he lit the room up. He yeah. made everyone feel seen, and as she talked about him being everyone's Superman, yeah. him carrying that load. Yeah. You never know what's going on inside nope. someone or what they're going through. But and she really didn't see it coming. She didn't see it coming at all. She said... She said she walked in her kids' room, and they were, all, they were up, and they were looking out at night into the night sky. And she said, what are you doing? They said, oh, we're talking to dad. Because mm. she said, he's in the stars for you. Mm. And uh, she's a great mom, and she's caring for those kids. But she really did want to reemphasize that mental health is a difficult problem. And Allison, she's also featured in People magazine on news newsstands nationwide. And if someone you know needs help, of course, the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline, always available Call or text that number 988 if you have anyone who you think is struggling. Or if you, you are struggling right. and you feel yes. like, I can't tell anyone. Right. I mean, that's what it feels like. Twitch yes. is carrying this deep weight and yes. doesn't have anyone, anyone to, to help call. him carry it. You're right. Call. Just yeah. make a call. We need you in this yep. world. Mm -hmm. I sat there and watched that. just those kids, those mm -hmm. adorable children. That's mm -hmm. all, all we could think about. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.